What's up everyone, my name is Alex, I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I want to let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two-hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's going to be available at MyInvestingClub.co, the link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Daily Recap where I'm gonna go over some of my trades and go into more detail, everything that I do, the mindset, the process, how to come up to my lines, all that good stuff, okay? Today is March, actually April the 8th, 2020. We are in the coronavirus shutdown quarantine. So this video is gonna be recorded for prosperity forever. So we're going to look back and go, hey, we made this when everyone's in quarantine. So very, um, I'm looking at these times, guys. These have been fantastic trading times. The, the, you know, this panic is causing so much volatility and range. And so, you know, take advantage of that situation, okay? Take advantage. And so how do we do that? So when we, when we wake up, all we see is hear the news panic. You watch CNBC and everyone's like, dude, we're going to go bankrupt. The economy is going broke. Next thing you know, also, the market bounces like 1,500 points the other day, right? And now the market's up again. People are going, what the go what's going on? You know, so when I see volatility, I look at opportunity. I go, dude, there's going to be enough range. When I say range, I mean meat. There's going to be enough meat on the bone for us to make some money. Our goal is not to take the entire move. You know, it's very difficult to get full size in at the top and cover full size at the bottom. It doesn't work like that. Uh, the best way to trade is to create a... Uh, Consistent method, a consistent process that you can take money, extract money every single day from the markets with very low risk. You know, that, that is your goal. The ultimate goal for me, some people like to come in and go, oh, I made a ton of money today, but then tomorrow I lost it back, right? My goal is not to be like that. My goal is I do this for a living, guys, although I love trading. I, if this was not money and it's a video game, I wouldn't be wasting my time doing this. So we have to be honest with ourselves. Our goal is to make money. The, the difference between us, people right now watching, the people in MIC, is we want to do this as a career. We want to do this more than just going to a casino as a tourist and just putting a few hands on blackjack and leaving. And that's the reason why most people lose. And so what you're going to see today, I'm going to just show you consistency. These are not big numbers. These are... Just what you can do pretty much every single day with no stress. This is all done within the first half an hour. We talked about this all the time. The key starts with the pre-planning, okay? Last night, I slept very early. I woke up very well. So basically, before I even sit down on the computer, my process started the night before. Okay, we like to say, you know, get a good night's sleep and all that stuff. With that, you can, you know, think clearly. So you have to think about it. It's like, it's like... You know, I don't want to get into too much, but no one really talks about this. People talk about just, I see some guys is getting to the market five minutes before they open and start slamming buttons. And that does not work. I mean, it may work for them, but you know, in reality, dude, that, that, that laziness is going to catch up to you. So you should have had a good night's sleep and all that stuff. And if you did it, you know, keep that in mind, trade smaller or just take the day off. There's all, the market's always going to be open. Okay. With that in mind, let's see what we trade. So the, the, the process I would usually start is I pull up my scanner each and every morning. So my trades consist of a combination of what is on the scanner. So the scanner are the new trades. These are the new things that move today. My scanner is simple, very simple. Just give me stocks that is up 8%. I'm just trying to see what is an active, you know, then I filter down the list myself and I sort it by number of trades. So this sucker has a ton of trades. So the reason why I sorted number of trades is this is the liquidity. These are not, so Volume doesn't mean much if there's like very little number of trades. So number of trades means people are actually buying and selling, buying and selling, you know, each single trade, it, it adds up. Each single print that goes off, right? That's his trade. And so this is very active, very liquid. So I sort them by that. And I can care less if, about the volume. I can care less about the average volume. All I care about is which one's active because I'm an active trade day trader because I want to extract money in and out and not get stuck. Low liquidity is how you die. When volume dies and you're stuck long in that stock or you're stuck short the wrong way and there's no liquidity to get out, that's when you die. And so 
but more importantly, I make money most of the time on low hanging fruit. Low hanging fruit are the stocks that were on my scanner yesterday. So the stocks that are on my scanner today become the low hanging fruit tomorrow if they break down. So this is what we call the hot chick of the day, which is the, the active list of the hot plays of the day. And those are usually the most difficult ones because everyone's trading in them. They, the charts have not been well defined or anything like that. And so you get destroyed if you are chasing tops or bottoms. Hey, look, boy, we made money. Should I cover it? Let me take some of this shit off. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> hey, we made money, guys. So what we did was we actually made a trade. Let me, let me show you what we did. I'm going to show you one, one, one of the brokers I use, uh, which is the Cobra. So let me see. Did you guys cover it, Boar? <laughs> so what we did is we shorted. So what we did is we, we shorted uh, the 155 line because there was a 50,000 offer. There was a 50,000 50, offer. So I just took some off at 144, made 10 cents. So I can focus on this daily recap, guys. My, bro, my, my goal is just to make the, the reason I did this is because of this. I saw a little line here. So we shorted this line here. So let's take a look at this. This is a good way to start. Okay. I love stocks that have a predefined chart. Boar is considered to me predefined. Is it a true low hanger? It was a low hanger because in the morning you, you could have shorted this and got out. But then the zombie hour comes 1030. Look at this, man. 1030 on the dot. It bounced. So let me get the rest of this out. So what happens with this? This is a this is a classic low hanging fruit. Low hanging fruit means a stock was a hot chick of day yesterday, and then it broke down. And today's a continuation breakdown. So if you take a look at Bohr, a couple, of, let's go back to the four day chart. Four day chart. It's been going up every day, and so it finally did a big breakdown. It broke down. It went from it, it maxed out at two bucks. So I was all over this area here, but it didn't come today yet. And so if you take a look at my Bohr, I was up here. It never, it never got here. So I, I put my fantasy orders out and never hit. Uh, where I put my fantasy orders was actually, so I like to drill down into and, and see, you know, I was actually around this area here. So in the morning, it never got back up there. I woke up and it never got back up. So the only time you could have hit this is right at the open. But I was up more at the 160 line, 170, 180. And so I never made to my levels. It barely went up and went down. And I was like, dude, I passed. And so if you got in though, but if you got in, notice where you should have covered. You should have covered right before the zombie hour. We always talk about the zombie hour. What's this magical thing about the zombie hour? Around 1030, something weird happens where the stock starts to, what we call zombie, meaning rise from the dead. And that's where the term zombie comes in, right? And so it bounced, man. Exactly what it is. It did a VWA reclaim. So if you wanted to trade this and you wanted to keep holding it for an all day fader, what you could do is two things. You can set a trailing stop loss or you need a, you need to stop out, man. There's some point where you stop out. I would have stopped out longer than the, 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 the maximum stop should be the VWAP reclaim, but a move from 128 to 138. Yeah. 10 cents. You can give that, but then it breaks into 140. You need to get the hell out. Okay. Um, if you, if, if you did not take gains along the way, you probably be red right now. And then you would have probably covered up here. Max pain, usually where max pain is. So I took it around here. The reason I shorted here, like we, we, we did this in the beginning of the, the daily recap was because I saw, well, this is a, a major uh, resistance here too. There's some weird lines here, but I just, you know, I saw also 50,000 on the offer. And so why not take a little piece front run him? It's SSR, so I did a little lower, 153. So I actually filled at 153. Uh, since it's SSR, I can't, I can't slam the bid. And so I, the reason I covered here, because this was, look, if you draw the line across here, guys, there is your first support. The old resistance, this is the resistance, becomes a new level of support. So think about this as an apartment building. We have multiple floors. So this is the, if you're coming down, this is a floor. But this floor, is also a ceiling for someone that lives up underneath you. So the old resistance becomes the support, right? And so that's why it bounced off here first. So it broke here, it could basically go back down to VWAP, which I would have the rest of my covers at VWAP. It didn't hit the VWAP yet. So I took most of it out already. I didn't have much shares anyways, but I took most of it out here and I saved a little piece for VWAP. I played it safe because why? Because this is during the zombie hour. And also, you know, Aloha says the best. Front side cover requires front, I mean, front side shorts requires front side cover, right? And this did the VWAP reclaim, guys. It's strong already. It did the VWAP reclaim. So therefore, you, you got guys are chasing here stuck. And so all I'm trying to do is do kind of what we call, the, I call it the first resistance, the first major resistance. And so 
I saw this as the first major resistance. And so I just took my, my scalp. And where did I take my scalp? Right down where I saw a possible support line. The support line matches here. You draw the line across here, guys. It matches this resistance. And then it also matches where it kind of stalled out here before the spike. So before the spike is the, the support. You see that, guys? You see this little spot right here? That's where I place my cover. And it matches this. Any questions about before? So, so that's how I do, I guess, midday trading. All right, I'll see you guys. I'm going to stop this right now. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.